Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys all had an amazing Mother's Day. Mine's was amazing, of course. It's always bittersweet because I don't have like my mom, like many of you probably don't. Um, so it's bittersweet. But to all you who are moms, stepmoms, grandmothers, godmothers, nanas, um, or just like a mom to your nieces and nephew, whatever the case may be, or like me that don't have their mom. I hope you honored and celebrated um, in a special and blessed way. Um, my autistic mommies out there, I hope you guys had a wonderful, amazing day with your little angels. Um, mine's, like I said, is always bittersweet because I don't have my mom. I always try to go to the graveyard on Mother's Day or sometime before if I know I'm not going to be able to make it like this was one of the years. Um, and put some flowers on her grave. And of course, I have a shrine here that I don't have the new one up yet because um, my husband's building me a new one. But it's like a shrine. It's like a prayer place, a special place that I can go and talk with them, pray um, about them or, or for them. Um, it has their pictures. And I'm speaking of my mom and dad because it's both for them. Um, and then every birthday and Christmas, I give them a little gift, like a little Christmas stocking or something like that, candy cane, what have you. But it's just a special place where I can take a moment, a space to honor them, to celebrate them, to think about them, let them know I love them and I miss them and they are always will be remembered and definitely never forgotten so it's bittersweet in that sense but it's also sweet because I have my children and I try to stay strong and happy um, because they want to honor me as their mom so once I have that moment and that space um, we just spend the day together as a family we do um, watch family movies um, yesterday we did that and we watch movies especially about moms one of the ones we watch was imitation of life um, there's a lot of them that we like to watch. Um, so we did go out earlier in the day. My kids took me to Applebee's. It's one of my favorite places to go. Um, kind of for lunch. And then my husband had a special dinner for me. One of my favorite Mexican dishes, which is pozole. So that was really exciting to eat in the evening. Um, and of course, um, lots of hugs, lots of happy Mother's Day wishes. And they gave me a few gifts, which is what this video is about, what I got for Mother's Day and how I spent the day celebrating Mother's Day. So um, let me start with my husband. Boom. <laughs> he treated me to having my nails done. And of course, I picked pink one because it's my favorite color. And because it was Mother's Day, it tended to remind me of the woman, of the mother. And just I was feeling the pink in that sense. And then I also had my toes done. I'm not going to try to lift up my feet. It's a little too hard. But um, I'm going to show you a picture. That is my <laughs> Toes are done to match my um, nails. Um, and then another gift he got me was this, um, a pair of Nike shoes. I love Nike, love Nike socks, Nike shoes. And I've been wanting a pair. And it was so funny because the day before I had wore a gray shirt. And I thought, God, I wish I had some gray tennis shoes because I have all colors but gray. And boom, I get Nike tennis shoes. And usually my husband gets me a perfume or a purse because or makeup because he knows those are the three things that I really like. But I was kind of thinking, I hope he gets me something a little different this year because I have a huge perfume collection, huge makeup collection, and a huge purse collection. And man, it was like he was a psychic or reading my thoughts, but they are beautiful. They're, I already wore them yesterday out to lunch with my kids. They are so comfortable, comfortable. So that was for my husband. The dinner, the nails, the shoes, love them to death. Thank you to my husband. Um, my kids, especially my um, older daughter, she kind of orders the stuff, but from her and with my other son and my daughter's um, help and stuff, they put together and they got me this, which is a VCR DVD player and it's a reproductor. And you're probably thinking, what the heck would she want? Um, I already got it set up, so it's not in the box, so that's why it's open like that. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. Um, and you're probably thinking, what the heck, I would want one of VCR. They don't really make them anymore, which they do, but not in stores. You have to order them online. Um, but the reason why I have to have, and I love a VCR, is because when I started my movie collection, I started in VHS. And I have maybe about 
300 VHSs and they're very dear movies. I, if I love a movie, I could see it over and over and over and over again through the years. Um, so I had, I had three VCRs and I had taken so good care of them because I knew at one particular time that they weren't going to make them anymore and sure enough they did and I said okay as long as I take care of mine eventually it took a toll on my VCRs and it seemed like they all stopped working at the same time and there was no way for me to revive them so it was a pretty downer for me because I really love movies it's like my escape like my vacation it kind of fills my soul it's just a big part of me and it's just something that the it's like my soul was kind of missing. It was really weird. I don't know how to explain that. And so, um, and I was kind of even getting emotional about it. Like I saw my movie collection and I thought, my God, it's so sad that I'm not able to see my movies. I also have DVDs. Once I knew that VHS would not be made anymore, I started then collecting DVDs. So I have a pretty good amount of DVDs. So this way it's a combo. I can watch both. I can go back and forth. And it all, I also could record from a VHS to the DVD. Um, so I could put copies on DVD. Sorry, I heard a car go by. So that was a big gift for me. It, I was just so completely touched and happy. Um, thank you, kids. That meant the world to me, and we already started seeing movies on them, so I'm so excited. And so, um, and then um, my oldest daughter, she got me this beautiful, beautiful teddy bear. I'm a kid at heart ever since I was a teenager, maybe a kid. I love collecting teddy bears, and um, so she bought this, and of course I love pink, and it says, um, Happy Mother's Day in Spanish, and it plays a song. Let's see. <laughs> Ma, it says, Mom, you are, you are so special. I, I send you sincere wishes for Happy Mother's Day. I love you. You always hug me. You're always so special, Mom. I wish you sincere happiness. Mommy, I love you. It's just so precious. I love you, Mommy. That's the last thing it says. That is so, so beautiful. I was so touched in tears, as you can imagine. I mean, just perfect. It had pink, my favorite color. It was in Spanish. Um, the heart, the music that I can play whenever I'm thinking about my kids and I'm missing them, I can play that. And it's from the daughter that's getting married in August, so she'll be leaving me. So this is perfect. So I can, it's going to be a rough time, so I can just listen to my teddy bear. So I loved it. And she also gave me this gift bag of makeup goodies. It's by Makeup Over Makeover Essentials. Um, so it has quite a few little gifts in here. And it had this um, eyeshadow palette. It's called Butterfly Eyes. Includes five eyeshadows. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, really pretty palette. Let's see if I can get it open because, oh my God, it's like I cannot. And it looks like that. It looks like the sand. And it has five colors. It's a little dark brown here, chocolate, a medium like cocoa color, um, sand like sand or shell color, and like a beige color. It's really, really, it doesn't have the colors on the inside or the outside, so that's what I'm naming it. Really pretty, pretty palette. Can't wait to start using it. Um, and then I got, of course, wipes, Makeover Essentials wipes, which I always can use wipes. Um, then I got a set of lip glosses, and they're kind of like, like this, mini lip glosses, and it has all the different colors, like a pearl color, a rust color, a pink frost color, a bronzy color, burgundy, uh... I would say a, a shimmer um, bronze color, um, like a orangey color, a gold, um, kind of like a shimmer burgundy, um, 
and a mauve, maybe um, the light gold, and probably another bronzer. I mean, just beautiful. I tried, um, I think it's this one or this one that I tried. Okay, I think it was this one that I tried. I'm just going to put over the lipstick that I have now. I tried it yesterday and it was just amazing. I love it. It feels perfect. It looks perfect. Love, love, love. So yeah, it's a set of 12. 12 lip glosses. And then um, it had brought a mascara in it. It's a dual mascara. It's a step one lash gel with the step two fibers. It's like that. This side is like that, and this side is like that. Love it, love it. Can't wait to try it. As you guys all know, I've been on a um, mascara journey. It came in that box right there. Do I have it the right side up? So, and it pretty much came with that and just a little card to tell you all about um, Makeover Essentials and it's seen in Cosmopolitan. So, yeah. It's really beautiful. I love it. All the goodies that I got in my makeup bag. So um, I can't wait to get started on these products and probably do a tutorial on it. Um, stuff like that. So that's what I got for Mother's Day. Um, I love all my gifts. They were perfect. Of course, I felt the love. All the people on my Facebook wish me a happy Mother's Day and I as well. Um, and what else? Um, I wanted to do this YouTube to wish all of you a happy Mother's Day. And I hope, like I said, it was really special and amazing. Um, and kind of wanted to share with you what I got for Mother's Day and what I did. Like I said, um, we went out to lunch and then I, we came home. Oh, we had a Starbucks. My younger daughter treated us to Starbucks. And in the evening we had the pozole. And then we watched movies. We just all gathered up. A little space on in the living room and just watch movies back to back and then my friend Edith was here and we did a makeover on her and I treated her to a new makeup bag and a bunch of makeup so that was nice to do that for her she's a good mommy her son is autistic is also blind so she's a single mom so yeah she deserved a little treat like that she had been feeling down a little bit so we wanted to do something special for her and so maybe I'll show some pictures of her um, I think I have one on here real quick. Let's see. Um, this is me and her, but that's what the glasses, let me do one without the glasses. Um, I don't have the before, but that was with her makeup and her hair done. She looked just amazingly beautiful. So my daughter did the makeover and I treated her with the makeup bag and the makeup. So yeah, that was really sweet. So that's what we did. And we just stayed here until we got so tired we had to go to bed. So And then today I'm off. So I had a really good Mother's Day weekend. I'm glad when I'm off the next day because it's always so emotional. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of things being done, and you just have a full day, and it's just so nice to have the next day off and rest. So yeah, that's what I got for Mother's Day, and that's what I did. And again, I hope all of your Mother's Day was very special. So okay, I guess that's it for now, and um, I'll check back in later. There's a lot of videos coming up. I'm going to do a couple of tutorials. Um, there was another one in specific I was going to do, but I can't remember right now. So please give this a video thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so, so you could be updated on all my videos. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until my next video, take care.